Hey everybody, we're talking about the brand new uh, Spionkop chart uh, dam update for 2022. Um, yeah, there was a hell of a lot that got added. The the dam level fluctuated tremendously um, as we were there for a couple of days. I was there for about four or five days, and um, yeah, the 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 level was well over 100%, and then one evening went well past 100%. Uh, so, yeah, we, we had a wonderful opportunity to do some incredible mapping at Spion Corp. But, guys, let's just quickly run through what can you expect from the new update. First of all, let's let's have a look. Where are we? Where is Spion Corp Dam? For those of you who don't know where Spion Corp Dam is, um, it is in the KZN Midlands sort of area, well, a little bit more north, heading up near Ladysmith there. And there's South Africa. And, yeah, uh, I suggest using your Navionics chart for this purpose. Uh, you can see that's where Spion Cup Dam is there. Now, guys, what you can do, uh, first of all, um, a lot of people say, yeah, but we can't afford the charts or whatever the case might might be. Guys, there are options, obviously. You can go to uh, Lawrence, South Africa or any one of their dealers and you can buy their Lawrence chart. And that's basically what you're going to get there. It will have a nice outline for you. You zoom in and it's got some contours for you, which is going to give you a guideline um, as to the sort of outline of the dam. These contours that you see in the SA inland chart, these are actually generated from the old sediment charts. Now, while we're talking about the sediment charts, that's something else that you can do. You can go to your local Department of Water Affairs and you can get yourself a copy of the sediment chart. We have put that on the chart for you. Okay, there it is there. So, um, yeah, that is another thing that you can do. It is free of charge. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's public source. Um, and there you go. Uh, they do also have digital copies so that you can view it on your computer. Um, but one of the biggest problems that you will run into when you deal with sediment charts is that you have no idea where the shoreline is. So, but once you're on the water, you know, uh, it makes it easier. But, yeah. Um, Whereas, uh, let, well, let's have a look at another option. Another option that, that you've got, which will definitely show you where the shoreline is, you can look at your satellite. And there we go there. There's your, okay, that's cheating because now that's got uh, precision, fish tech precision, one foot contour chart on top of it. So what we'll do is let's turn all those categories off. And that's basically what you're going to have. So, for example, on Potkitter's point here, um, you'll see that's what you can expect from your satellite imagery. Now, guys, as you can see, uh, when this satellite was taken, the water level was way below even the uh, slipway area. So that was very, very low. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay. So the first thing that we've got with the new chart is more options. Uh, let's turn all the categories on. Okay. The first thing I want to point out here is this greeny, bluey thing. This is your bottom hardness. Okay. Uh, where it's white, it's extremely shallow and hard, and then it goes to blue, and then it starts to go get softer into your softer bottom top as you move, especially out when, when you get to your, your, your yellows like that. There's obviously a lot of sludge there. But what you can do is you can go into there, you can go to there, and you can turn off bottom composition. Then you should have your old traditional... Um, contours and uh, the contour lines with their colors, as most of you have come to know it. Um, this here, you'll see there's uh, three foot intervals. But as you zoom in, there comes your one foot contours. Now, guys, I want to show you a very interesting part of this dam. It's called washaways. 
This is it here. Now, obviously, from the uh, contour charts, <clears throat> excuse me, you've obviously got these, there's probably one, two, three, four sort of main wash away areas, okay, which you can target. Uh, but once you move into an area like this, let's zoom in a little bit, it starts to become a little bit more difficult because you lose the ease of this. That that big point there that's sticking out there um, by photo 619 is, is, is a prominent point, very easy to identify. Um, but things get a little bit trickier, and that's a little bit deep. But once you get into the shallows here, things don't look too, too complex. So what we can do is you can then use your satellite imagery only. But let's turn off um, those colors so we can just see the contour lines. Now, from this, guys, you can see, okay, now things start to get really interesting. Because remember, there was our primary point that we identified with the uh, with the uh, 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 contours only but the minute you get into the shallow water where it didn't look too interesting and we swap over to the satellite imagery now you can see oh hang on here's now a very fishable depth especially when the dam is at a hundred percent and now you can identify some really nice little points to to target here that are on the contours make no mistake you can see they are there i mean you can see there's a high point there there's a high point there, and there's a high point there, okay? But, guys, we are talking about Fishtech HD charts here, okay? Uh, first of all, uh, I want to show you the old uh, mosaics, your Ultra HF, your Ultra HF mosaics for, uh, I think it was 2019 that I was there, 2020, beginning of 2020. So we'll go Ultra HFS, which is south. Um, the Ultra HF is, is divided into north, south, and river section because it's just too much to actually pop on onto one. So we're going to go HFS south. What happened to it? There it is. It's at the bottom. As you can see, it was too, the dam was down significantly back then. In fact, I think it was between 18 and 20 feet down on, on average. Um, but, but the deeper side scan stuff you can obviously see stands out quite nicely there. But again, guys, it can get a little bit tricky to, to read. Um, but if we compare that to the Ultra HF, which I've just done now in 2022, you can see it came all the way in. We got it right up to 100% and over 100%. I mean, the water was even past that sort of 100% mark. Um, but you can see some really interesting stuff here, especially on the side scan on the Ultra HF mosaic. But guys, like I said before, we are talking about uh, HD charts here. Now, something I did when the dam was low is I used the drone and I mapped this whole area. So obviously there you've got your aerial HD. Now guys, look at the difference between satellite. That's your satellite there. Let's take this point, let's zoom in a little bit here, okay. And then we change that to Aerial HD. This was done with, with uh, the, the drone. Sorry, my menu disappeared there. Okay, you can see a massive difference in, in quality here. Now, from the same footage, we got something else that was really, really fantastic. It is called Elevation. Elevation is a form of LiDAR, and as you can see, if you were to fish this area, you'd be hard-pressed to choose between aerial HD and elevation. Me, personally, I really like this. 
you can sit and plan now exactly what you want to do here. Of course, you, you've got your Ultra HFS, uh, your uh, mosaics, your side scan mosaic, but uh, where you've got this type of imagery, and now now that we have the, the, the dam at 100%, now you've got uh, a precision, one foot precision contours over these, these targetable areas. Guys, this is just, this is amazing stuff here. So if we go back to, um, let's say, our aerial HD, um, do we have photographs here? Yes, yes, we do. You can see the boat was way out there uh, back when we took these photographs. So let's see what these photographs look, look like of this area. You can see that's your typical type of wash away. You can see why it's called wash away. And there's your 100% bank in the background there. Uh, let's see if we can try and find a better one. Come on. Sometimes you've got to get it exactly on the spot, otherwise it won't. Okay, here we go. You can see why it's called washaways. Let's see if we can find a better one. Uh, 617, come on, 617. There we go. Let's try one more. One more, last one, 620. Come on, be a better one. No, <laughs> it's not. But anyway, um, but they were... There were definitely some better ones showing these washaways. Um, let's try 615. Maybe that shows something a bit better. Yes, there we go. Okay, that, that, that was, that's pretty much more what I was looking for. You can see exactly what these uh, washaways look like. So if you go back to your elevation and you want to see, that's, that, that, that's it there. That, those are those steep, steep little little banks that we're talking there. But guys, I want to show you another area and a very interesting thing on how to target um, this particular area. Let me just let that load. Sorry about the video. The, the glitching that you see on the video, by the way, is uh, is not on, on the unit. The, the unit is definitely not doing that at all. Um, this is coming from uh, the app, the link app, especially when you're doing a screen recording like what I'm doing now, um, you do get a lot of weird, pic like, the, like this pixelation and these lines all over the place. So obviously, it would be nice if the guys had to sort that out for us. But anyway, um, guys, uh, looking at your, okay, this area here, okay, we, we're on nine foot. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to highlight this, this little building here at nine foot. And then I want to see what sort of, accuracy would you get from for example for example the uh, uh, SA inland chart remember I said to you the contours for the SA inland chart were taken from the sediment charts there it is there clearly the the guys that converted the data from the sediment to uh, to, to this format here, they also had no idea where the shoreline exactly was, as, well, as you can see from, from this here. And uh, that obviously is going to affect these depths, obviously, in meters. So this is uh, a, a six, sort of six foot out there. That's the six foot line there. So if we go back and we go back to satellite, you can see it's actually 15 foot. So that does make very much of it. Of a difference, but guys, for the technology that was available at the time when those charts came out, and of course their price, you know, I think you get about forty dams around the dam, uh, around the whole country, uh, with uh, some contours and whatnot. I think it's a great place to to start for a chart. But remember, at FishTech we sell HD charts, and this is what it's all about. So, how would you target this? sort of area. If you just had contour charts, it would be very, very difficult. Let's just show you what that would look like. Um, let's go to your chart options. Let's make that land only. Obviously, uh, if you only had a contour chart available to you, you would see this area. There's a big flat area that comes out. Uh, can we call this a point? Maybe not. It's more of a little bluffy type thing that comes out with a flat section on it. Um, but it wouldn't be too exciting. 
from a contour perspective. But remember, once again, I said to you, these are HD fishing charts. And what happens with HD fishing charts? We have HD data. So we're going to put that back to full. Now we've got our contours there. Uh, we've got our satellite imagery. Um, the only problem with the satellite imagery is you can clearly see that, that that's a man-made object without a doubt. But what happens if you go to your aerial HD? There it is there. Now that's really, that's what we call HD. Look at that, guys. This, this is incredible. You can see there's a, quite a complex building that was there. There's a big bit of standing timber there. Um, you, you've got two cut-off stumps here. Um, oh, do we have any photographs of that? Let's have a look. 400, P400. Let's have a look. There's, there's those two stumps. You can see those, those two stumps there um, quite clearly. Key, key stuff. Guys, the, this is really the type of information that you want out of a, a chart. There's that stump that we said was on the side, there on the right hand side of the screen, and there's those two big stumps there in amongst that, that or just in front of the actual building with some rock on it. So yeah, uh, and, and there's a lot of these, these, these photographs. Uh, let's zoom in so you can get a picture of that again. Remember, it was those two stumps standing there with some rock on it with the buildings in the background and the timber on the right-hand side. So it really sort of gives you a perspective of what is out there, okay? Um, back to, of course, what did we say? We have the elevation view, and there you have it. And that gives you some really great detail there. There's that. You can see that... Uh, stump there but that stump is pretty much lying on on the deck okay um it's a big uh, um, stump for sure but it's it's lying on the deck talking about that if you're going to come into the shallows and target these big stumps and lay downs here which stump would you target first out of all of this me personally you see how the color changes on on this one here this one is obviously raised so i would definitely target that one first and uh, let's see if we've got a photograph i just want to show you what that let's look at the aerial hd of that quickly just so you've got an idea uh, aerial hd there you can see it there okay you can see these are big 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 stumps let's see if we've got some photographs um they should be out here somewhere there we go there's there's one there Come on, I can't press more accurate than that. My goodness, 397, there we go. Okay, and that is why the color of that lay down changed. As you can see, it's, it's slightly raised off the deck. So uh, that would certainly be <clears throat> a big flag for me you know, if I was to target that. <clears throat> obviously, also knowing how to target timber, which side do you target from? Uh, you obviously uh, start from the skinniest part of the timber and cast towards the base um, because of the angle of, of, of the branches, but that's a discussion for another day. So, yeah, um, that, I think, is some great information there. Um, let's have a look at this old foundation here. You can see the, the dam when I was here was around about 18 to 20 foot down, roughly. You know, and then obviously we had some fluctuating waters that makes it a little bit tricky. Um, so you can change that to uh, elevation. I always love this elevation. It just makes life so much easier. But obviously, as you're going to water, you can't see. But if you look at the new, uh, well, let's first take the old Ultra HF uh, mosaic, and you can see no, it didn't make it. However, it did show something else that the satellite did not show. Um, the old aerial HD didn't show it. It's obviously an extension of that uh, thing there. Um, but the old Ultra HF North does show it. But if you look at the new 22, 2022 uh, update for the Ultra HF, there's the whole thing there. And there we go. The whole thing is pretty much explained, which is really, really awesome. If we flick that over into elevation, there we go. Back to the Ultra HF 
for 2022. There it is there. And what I really like about um, the side scan mosaics is the shadows. It's always about the shadows. Yes, you get fantastic definition with the drone imagery and you get a really nice sort of 3D type of look uh, with the uh, elevation, which is really, really nice. Let's, let's be honest. Um, never forget about your Ultra HF because that also has some incredible detail, even when you zoomed all the way in. And guys, I always say this to, to people, how good is a chart? You base it on how far you can zoom in. And unfortunately, this is where we get into a little bit of trouble uh, locally with our satellites. I see satellites from Europe and the States are fantastic, um, but uh, very often ours aren't that detailed. So, yeah, um, guys, I think I've pretty much covered it. Oh, yes, um, let's shoot down to the river. I want to show you something up the river. Where was that? I think it was around here somewhere. When we did the side scan mosaic, I remember seeing this. Yes. You see that? These blocks in the water. If you go to the satellite, you can't see it. But just starting to actually see it. But I think I've got it with the Aerial HD. Yes, there they are. Can you see that? Uh, let's see if, if the elevation picked it up. It just, just did. It just nicked it. But the Aerial HD um, for this is actually very, very nice. So if we zoom in there... We can go back to our Ultra HF for the for the river for 2022. And there we go. You've got it all marked out for you nicely there. So, yeah, guys, you've, you've really got an opportunity uh, with the uh, with the charts. There are just so many options here, um, uh, you know, using a fish tech uh, chart compared to just a basic uh, um, contour chart or an old sediment. I mean, it's it's better than nothing. Let, let's not lose context here. Um, but uh, by no means is it uh, an, an HD chart, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, um, guys, that's pretty much the uh, new update for 2022. Um, I think we added about 500 and something acres to to the dam, and we did about 1,300 and nearly nearly 1,400 acres of new uh, side scan mosaic, and uh, that is really going to help everybody going going forward. So yes, get your hands on a copy of the Spion Cook chart. And, uh, yeah, start planning now. So by the time that the water cleans up a little bit and settles after all this rain and you have your next competition there, I'm sure uh, you will have a much better day on the water as opposed to not having this, this chart. Thanks, guys. Tight lines.